On this episode of Andy's Auto Sport TV, we're going to talk about side view mirrors. Now, whether you're replacing them because they're broken, like the ones on our Project Integra, or you want to start towing, like we're going to do with our Project F250, or you just want to update the look, like we're going to do on Project Transfat, Andy's Auto Sport has exactly what you're looking for. Now, when choosing a side view mirror, you have many options to choose from, including uh, M3 or spoon type mirrors, even carbon fiber. Now, this can have a major impact and really help personalize the look of your vehicle. Now, not only can you choose the style of your mirror, but there are other options as well. For example, in the colder months, it's always a pain in the neck to scrape your mirrors. A heated mirror will solve this problem. There's also mirrors like these tow mirrors that we're putting on our Project F250 from SEPA. Now, anytime you have a larger vehicle or you're towing, these are really going to help you see the big picture of your truck and trailer. Now, in the case of Project Transfat, we're going to use these mirrors from Street Scene that have turn signals built into the mirror themselves. Now, if going for something custom isn't quite your thing and you just want to replace with an OEM mirror, we've got those from D-Lab like we're going to be putting on our Project Integra. Now, the mirrors are going to come ready to install right out of the box. However, most of them are going to be black, so if you want to paint them, you'll need to do some prep and paint work like we're going to do on the D-Lab mirrors for our Project Integra. When looking for replacement side view mirrors for your vehicle, some vehicles came equipped with either electric mirrors or mechanical mirrors. So check out the product description to make sure you're getting the right ones for your specific vehicle. And also, there are a limited number of kits where you can actually convert your manual mirrors to electric. Now we're going to start by installing our painted D-Lab mirrors on our Project Integra. We have some little 8mm screws here that we're going to remove. Now once we unplug the wire, there's a couple little clips that hold this into place. You can use a pair of screw, a screwdriver or a pair of pliers just to kind of get that started to where it gets through that hole in the door. And the other mirror just pops out and you're ready to install your new mirror. Okay, now when you're replacing the mirror, make sure you take the rubber grommet off of your old mirror and install it on your replacement mirror. This is going to make a good seal and keep it from squeaking and rattling. All right, one down, two to go. All right, now we're going to go ahead and install our tow mirrors on our Project F250. Now we're going to start by removing the old one, and there are some trim pieces we have to take off from the inside. Now, whenever you're replacing anything, a good thing to do is to look at the bolt pattern on the new mirror. That's going to kind of tell you where the old bolts are to take the old one off. Now here we've got a couple of grommets that are kind of in the way. Basically, they block the bolts so that it uh, keeps uh, dirt and debris from getting in there. So we're going to remove these and that will give us access to the bolts to remove the mirror. All right, now we're going to install our SEPA mirrors on our Project F250. Now, they come like this, so you'll have to hardwire it into your factory harness, and they come with little plastic connectors that will work perfectly fine. However, I always prefer the NSPA weatherproof connectors. Okay, now we're splicing our factory wiring harness in with our new SEPA wires. Now they have a wiring diagram in there. Make sure you verify to make sure it's exactly what it says. In our particular case, the instructions were perfect. So we're going to go red to red, blue to blue, and yellow to black. This is going to make our 
mirrors function properly with our factory switch. All right, now before we heat shrink the wires and, and uh, button everything up, let's make sure our mirror works properly. Perfect. Okay, to start the installation on Project Transfat for our street scene mirrors, we're going to need to pull the door panel off. Because our mirrors have turn signals uh, in the side, we're actually going to have to run the wire uh, through the door jam all the way up over underneath the dash. Okay, when it's time to take off the uh, windshield handle, if you have crank windows on there, you're going to need one of these little special tools. It makes life a lot easier to pop the clip out. The best thing to do once you pull the window regulator handle off is to put the clip back in. That way you don't lose it. These things will end up flying around and you cannot, it won't stay on if you don't have the clip back in place. All right, next we're going to go ahead and there's a piece of foam in here. Make sure you don't discard that because that actually does keep some wind noise out of the vehicle. So we're going to pull this piece of foam out. It just, it just pulls right out of the place and then that's going to expose our bolts that actually hold on the factory mirror. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mount our mirror to our bracket that's actually going to bolt it onto the truck. The hole is relatively small so the wires won't go through there so just uh, unspool it and then pull it through. All right, now it actually comes with three brand new nuts that you put on here so that'll hold the mirror together. You use the factory ones to bolt it back to the truck itself. All right, now once we have that all bolted together, you're going to take this factory piece of rubber right here. Again, this is a seal that goes between the door and the actual mirror. This is going to keep some noise out. There's a little hole that's right here in the middle uh, for the factory harness. Now we're ready to bolt our mirror back in place. Alright, now for the fun part. We're actually going to take this wire and run it through our door, through our uh, little door grommet, all the way under the dash over underneath the steering column to connect it to our turn signal switch. Okay, now here's a little tidbit that's going to help you and save you from having to pull the door panel back apart again. When you run this wire, there is the window channel that's in here. Make sure you're behind the window channel because if you push this wire down, you can't really see it. It comes right here. If you're on the front of the window channel, then this wire is going to be in the wrong spot. As soon as you roll the window down, it's going to try to pull the wire out. It can possibly break the wire. You got to remember this is on a gear reduction, so it's will, it will break the wire. So make sure you're behind the window channel so that nothing interferes. And another thing, when you take this grommet off, you can just pull the grommet back from the front of the door and that'll make it a whole lot easier to run it through. Okay, now that we have a wire through our door, we've got to pull this trim panel off. Making sure I'm behind the window regulator.
Okay, it's always easiest to put the door panel on if you have the window rolled completely down. That way the uh, top edge of the door panel will go over top like it's supposed to. So always roll the window down, make it a lot easier when reinstalling your door panels. Okay, this doesn't seem like a really big deal, but to me this is something that I always do. It's paying a little attention to detail. And if you take vehicles to car shows, and obviously Transfant's not ready for that yet, but uh, these things will make a difference. Always either have your window all the way up or all the way down, and have your window crank knob aimed in the same direction so you actually clock them. These are the kind of attentions to detail that actually uh, judges pay attention to when you go to car shows. Okay, what we're doing now is we're going to hook up the turn signals that are actually in our mirrors to our factory harness. So according to the instructions, we're looking for the light blue wire for the driver's side and the dark blue wire for the passenger side. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on our key, turn on our turn signal, we're going to ground our, our line, we're going to look, and I've got several wires here, so we're going to just probe through and find the appropriate wire. Andy's has a complete line of tools, so if you don't have a multimeter, check out the link below. Okay, now that we've located our wire, we're going to go ahead and splice in our turn signal wire from our mirror into this wire. Now, they come with a little splice like this. Basically what this does is it goes over top of the wire and then you put your wire inside and you splice it with this little piece right here. And what it does is it just makes the connection between this wire and then pinches your wire as well. I don't really like these connectors. They work fine and in most cases it's not a big deal. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clip the wire. We're going to use our NSPA connector that is weatherproof, which is the way I like to do these. Okay, so now that we've got the dark blue wire connected, which is for our passenger side, we're going to do the exact same thing with the light blue for the driver's side. All right, on the Project Integra, it took about two hours, including paint and prep work of actual physical work time, not including drying, to install our D-Lab mirrors on our Project Integra. Now, we put our SEPA mirrors on our Project F250. Those are great tow mirrors, extendable. It took about an hour and 15 minutes. And then Street Scene sent us mirrors for Project Transfat that have blinkers in the actual rearview mirrors themselves. It took about an hour and 15 minutes to install those. If you have any questions, feel free to call one of our knowledgeable sales staff at 1-800-419-1152 or email us at info at andysautosport.com. Check out the link below to see what we have available for your vehicle. Popular brands we carry are APR, Street Scene, D-Lab, and of course, SEPA. We hope you've learned something today, and we'll see you on another episode of Andy's Autosport TV.